Hello, move back to the Hello, hello, move back to the Hello, fellow citizens. Good afternoon. I will have to tell you in a principle the situation on the ground. Today we saw in Dilland five or six men hired by DBP to come and kill Comrade Timothy Tambo of CFT and the, the Tonse Alliance comrades. These people were caught in Dilande and Malawians rejected to take them to police. They stressed that they must kill them. They must burn them. And we of Muva Shurungamu, and I'm sure CFT and all well-wishers of Malawi, those patriots do not condone what DBP and all the alliances are doing in Malawi. We are very much disappointed and we are cross, upset that our democracy that we fought so hard, fought very hard and painfully cannot continue 26 years later doing the same things again and again. This is very pathetic. Well, we don't advocate for killings, we don't advocate for burnings or whatever, but it is now coming to an extent where we cannot condone this type of life. I want to say something about our history of democracy from 1994. The history of Madibadi democracy started in Zambia. It, was not, it did not start in Malawi. It started in Zambia where all exiled political parties had to gather together. There was Madu, Malawi Democratic Union, led by Hari Banausi, whose brother passed on Mr. Augustine Banausi. Then there was Mafremo, that was led by Otto Nshiro, who was by then arrested and detained without trial in Malawi. And then it, there was Lesoma, League of Socialists Malawi, led by Tati Mpakato, whose leadership by then was Edmond and uh, Edmund Jika. Then there was Congress for Second Republic, led by William Okanyama Shume, in exile. These exiled people gathered together in Zambia, lobbied the international community, the Paris Club, the British government, to voice out and withhold aid to the Malawi government of Gamsband. The international community listened. And that is where they withheld funding and they asked Kamuzubanda to improve his human rights uh, record. Otherwise, aid was going to be cut off and it was cut off, literally. On the meeting of Zambia, the exiled people invited some Malawians, particularly those that were in the trade union, in the uh, human rights defending organizations. And in this case, they invited Jagufa Chihan. Who attended this meeting in Zambia? This is the genesis of our democracy. I want to stress this because there are other people in Malawi who are claiming to be champions of democracy, who are claiming to have brought in the, uh, democracy in Malawi and they want to uh, suffocate our oxygen of democracy just because they want to claim ownership. There's no one who can stand up today to say that I am the champion of democracy, not Bakir Mluzi, not Jakufo Jihana, because Jakufo Jihana, he was an invitee, somebody was invited to the conference in Zambia. Just because these people in Zambia, they were in exile, they were not allowed to come back in Malawi. So they had to use some people that had access, that were free to come into, uh, um, to enter into Malawi and pass the message. That's why Jakufo Jihana came to Zambia. For him, to come and claim at least that is a champion of democracy, he can claim to be his part and parcel of the process of democracy in Malawi, but not owning it. Now, I want to stress here that former President Bagir Mluzi, if he is standing up there campaigning for his son, claiming that he is the founder and the champion of democracy, he is wrong. He is lying to the nation. We must not accept that. We claim, because now I've heard some of the campaign whereby they are saying that Malawi Congress Party refused democracy, therefore we cannot give them government. 
I hear so from DPP and UDF uh, supporters. Here I tell you, Muvwa Churungamo demands and declares that no one owns democracy in Malawi. Because if it wasn't the Malawians to agree and go in large numbers, in demonstrations and protests, democracy would not come in Malawi. If it wasn't part, part, part the pastoral letter of the Catholic bishops who wrote a pastoral letter in front of the country, in front of Kamuzbanda, democracy will not come in Malawi. Therefore, no one owns, and Malawians owe nobody an, an appreciation or a token of thanks. No one. Because it was a collective decision making, it was a collective struggle. There is no one who can claim ownership. Therefore, Mr. Mluzi, if you are coming into the street, if you're coming to the podium of the campaign for your son and DPP, don't lie to Malawians that you are a champion of democracy at all. Don't lie to Malawians that you cannot let people who did not fight for democracy because democracy is not yours. Democracy belongs to Malawians. Democracy belongs to particularly those of us who are in exile because we are the people, we are the genesis that started fighting. Therefore, this campaign that is going on now should be far from claiming ownership of the freedom that we have in Madbadi dispensation, should be far from claiming anybody who thinks that is superior against the other. Not at all. The boys that were arrested, they, they say were hired by DPP strong men. I don't know who, whether it's in charge or who, I don't know. But I want to say something. Muvwa Churungamo has taken responsibility of the country to make sure that we bring our country back to sanity. We have to make sure that our country is in order because we see those that have got power now, they want to destroy Malawi. They know their time is over. They know that they cannot live more, but we have we ourselves to live. We have our children to live and we have our great, great grandchildren who are supposed to live in this country. So we will not allow anyone. By this, we condemn DPP and UDF Alliance by sending their thugs to go and destroy or kill those that are fighting, those that are campaigning on a peaceful platform. On the other hand, I want to appeal to my brothers and sisters in Korea, in the north. Do not bar anyone from entering North Korea or Northern region. Don't. We are in a multi-party dispensation. We are a democratic nation. There's no restricted area. There's no area whereby somebody is, is, can say it's my bedroom. No. We are all Malawians. We signed it's constitutional that this is a democratic state. In this case, DPP and UDF, Peter Mutarika and Atubel Muzi are allowed to campaign in the north. Give them access. If you want to not to go to their, to their campaigns uh, meetings, well, don't. That's your choice. But don't bar them. Don't stone them. Don't beat them. Let them come sell their lies. Let them come sell their manifestos. Let them come and listen to them if you want. But don't bar them. Don't stop them. We are democrats. We are not dictators. We are not despots. This generation is of democracy. We want anybody to be free and express himself. Sell their game or their minds or whatever ideologies they have. Let them sell them. Don't bar them. Therefore, Adubel Mluzi and his team are in the north. Give them access. Let them conduct their elections, I mean their campaigns, wherever they can. Don't bar them. Because we are not dictators. Generation of the utopian philosophy, the, utopia, the, the generation of me via Chirungamo, we are peaceful people. We are true democrats and we are patriotic citizens. We don't want the government that is coming after 3 July should be a government that comes through back door. Because if you bar them, they are going to complain that we did not win because we were denied access to enter into the zones where we could lobby for our votes. So in this democratic dispensation, nobody, nobody. I know you are angry because some of your people are being chased from the Southern Legion and particularly Loma Belt. But we cannot revenge. We cannot extinguish fire with fire. We know DPP and UDF, they know they have lost because statistics explains clearly. 
that if these elections were free and fair, if these ex elections were free and fair, automatically the opposition Tonsi Alliance is 